What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fuzzy Fitness. Let me start this video with some updates regarding the official Arnold Classic Open Bodybuilding List. The former 212 Mr. Olympia Kamal has now confirmed that he will be competing in 7 weeks. So that will be a great challenge for Kamal. And all he can do is rely on conditioning because that is his only shot. If you guys remember, he was the best guy on stage with respect to condition at Tampa Pro last year. But Akeem just had way more size and he was in decent condition and the judges gave him the nod over Kamal. Now there is just one guy, Blessing Avudibu, who hasn't confirmed whether he is going for this show or not. And judging by his latest story, we are kind of confused. Because apparently, he is still trying to grow when we are just under 8 weeks out. Yes, he is a big guy. And he needs lots of food to stay full. And we did saw how quickly they dropped the hammer for the Olympia in the last 5 weeks or so. Well, according to Blessing, it was again a miscalculation during the peak week that led him to show up soft and all watery. So no confirmation from Blessing as of now. Samson Vauda is the favorite to win this show. He is just put together so well. And although Milos gave him some time off after the Olympia to enjoy a bit and eat whatever he wants, but you can just see from his latest update how quickly he bounces back, how quickly he got rid of that water. The only thing people have a complaint regarding Samson is that his skin isn't as thin as some of the other top competitors. But the longer he stays on prep, the more chances there are of getting that paper thin look. And for the Arnold, Samson does not have to be freakishly big. I mean he already is because there are no competitors like Rami or Nick Walker. The biggest competition is either Sean Calrida or William Bonac. Both of these athletes rely heavily on conditioning to win big shows. So chances of Samson getting super shredded are really high. Sean Calrida isn't afraid about speaking his heart out. He said plain and simple on muscular development that he is coming to win irrespective of whoever is gonna show up at the Arnold. Stay mentality, I'm going in here to, to, to win. I don't care who shows up. And this was a decision they made before the Olympia. So it was all planned. And even if Sean places top three, that will still be a huge win in terms of prize money. Sean hasn't had any breaks since the Olympia. He has been training non-stop. So, we expect to see him better at the Arnold than what we saw at the Olympia. You can make an argument that Sean was one of the best peak athletes at last year's Olympia across all divisions. And if he can be that Olympia lock, that is gonna be mind-blowing. And every athlete in that lineup knows that Sean is a dangerous competitor. Judging by how good Nick Walker looks right now, with a little less than 8 weeks to go till the Arnold, he can definitely jump in the show at the last minute. I do not think they will consider it as Nick has stated multiple times that Arnold Classic is not on the cards for him in 2023. But he loves teasing his fans with these interesting captions. Nick not doing the Arnold this year had a lot to do with his coach Matt Jensen 
because Matt have always wanted Nick to take time off. If you guys followed Nick Walker through the entire 2022, then you would know that he was continuously stating that he will do the Arnold 2023. Things only changed when Nick got back with Matt Jensen. The fans will absolutely lose it if Nick Walker decides to jump in. But realistically speaking, that isn't gonna happen. Um, I will not be doing the Arnold this year. I will be focusing on just the Olympia, taking some downtime, and making as much needed improvements as possible. No, I am not doing the Arnold. So hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.